A seven second street tire Harley's very rare. Whoa, 171 cubic inches, that's a monster. How much do they cost to build? Guys, we're back in Pittsburgh, the steel city. We got a lot of bikes to see. Let's go. Legendary Keystone Raceway. Big turnout of street bikes for the sixth annual Qaddafi Entertainment Bike Fest. Track's looking good. Let's get you right to our semi-final round. We are off a fight to the finish. I want to know in the comments too, if I could give you one, would you pick the Harley or the ZX-14? There's no wrong answer. Win light in this one, ZX-14. 897. Wow, on an 890, he's going to the final. That ZX-14 is on kill today. The only bad news for him, he's got Joey Davola. Joey will take the buy run into the final round. Very interesting, very interesting. Big congratulations, Joey Davola. You're going to the final. This is another lesson. If you don't succeed first round, buy back in because it works. Now, I'm a little surprised you didn't make the pass. It's hot, bud. We're, we're okay. We've made several hundreds passes down this track. We know what it's going to do. You got all the data you need. You just want to keep your bike cool. Yes, sir. How many times you won the track championship out here? This will be number six this year. You're a bad man. Thank you. He, Good he luck. He don't need no buy run. He's Joey Duvall. He doesn't need a buy run. Doesn't need the data. Just opting to break the beam. He's going to keep that Suzuki cool and bring it on back for the final round here. Interesting to see the different strategies too. In the pro class is almost always you break the beam, right? But figured maybe in the bracket class, he might he might want a shot to see what his bike's running in terms of what number it's running with these atmospheric conditions. Because you don't really need too much cool down on that GSXR, but Joey knows better than anybody. He's got a lot of laps down here. We'll see what happens in the final. And we get some bonus entertainment because Mike Motto is out testing this uncanny beast. There are not many seven second street tire Harley Davidson bikes in existence. And how about that? Motto just misses it. We're going to learn much, much more about this motorcycle moving forward. Here we are back again with the world's quickest no bar Harley racer. 762 about two years ago, right, right here, here. Yeah. Keystone Raceway Park. Well, now we're looking at a bike that looks very similar to yours. Give me a little tour. Um, it's a Sportster based uh Harley, it's it, the top end is mainly the same as mine. Uh, of course, you know, the sports there is a transmission in the engine case, it's not divorced like mine is, but um, it's real similar. Um, it's uh, a big motor, 172 inches, and um, we got uh, we redesigned the belt drives on these bikes and the fuel systems and all that kind of stuff to um, just to kind of make them last longer. So now we're working on new tune ups and we're just kind of creeping up on it. Many of you aspiring racers may want to know what this costs. We'll get into that in a second. But as for now, Motto, oh, just misses the sevens right there. A good effort, though. They'll take it back to the pits, work on the tune, and try again. Uh, check it out, guys. We got some old school out here, too. 1978 Kawasaki KZ1000. How much fun is that motorcycle? Uh, I can't say. I can't say It's either. fun. It's just fun. They're comfortable. Just... They're comfortable and fun. Love it. Well, Greg, Greg, we found out what happened. Whoa, how's that happen? Uh, I don't know. More power than that belt I like to deal with. He's been putting a new belt in. This is an amazing machine. Oh, Mike, what's it like to ride this thing when this thing... It's a beast, man. Ooh. It's a I badass bet. machine. No I wheelie bar and it's all power. I bet it is. Well, you got another run coming up. What number would make you real happy to end the day with? We'd love to see a 760 today. Woo! That's going to be our goal. We'll see what happens. We're going to have to really put some power to it because the track is in. Okay. Okay. He's shooting high. We'll see what he yeah. can do. He's a tough racer. He's got Greg Dahl working on the clutch right now. Guys, he is fearless. Gaddafi, it's his event, and he's clutch racing. A ZX-14.
Now, if I would have told you Harley Bagger versus the X14 10 years ago, you would have laughed at me, but these high-end Bagger builds have become increasingly fast. Now, Quick will give Qaddafi the hit. That means he leaves after Qaddafi does. This should be a close race. There goes Qaddafi, Quick following him closely. Oh my gosh, can Quick catch him? All the Pittsburgh gentlemen cheering on Qaddafi, top end of the racetrack, Qaddafi takes the win, wow. Hold on, hold on a second. Michael did Qaddafi on a Harley just stun Jay Quick on a ZX-14. That's what I saw. Ooh, Qaddafi. He's a rider, man. He's, He's a, rider. a rider. It's his event. Big congratulations. <laughs> Let's take another look at that launch as Qaddafi's club members are fired up. I think we got the Pittsburgh gentlemen enjoying some racing action. Guys, anybody want to give a little one, two, three for Qaddafi? Let's hear it, Qaddafi. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. it, Qaddafi. We got that bad fight. That's right, Pittsburgh gentlemen in the house. Look at all these motorcycle riders enjoying it. Pittsburgh's <laughs> Qaddafi certainly brings in a lot of fans, a lot of street bike riders here. Guys, we just saw a grudge race. It was a close one. Harley versus the X-14. How close was that down there? Very close. See, as soon as I went through the finish line, he was on my back. Oh, my right goodness. There, but he got me. That was a tight one, huh? Yep. These Harleys are fast. Sure are. Even a big guy like this lifting all these weights. <laughs> well, I think we got to see a rematch sometime oh, soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for a great event. Don't go anywhere just yet. We got a final round coming. We also got Motto with a third attempt to try to get into the sevens. Fans are ready for the final. They are subscribed to Psycho Drag YouTube. If we get these bikes done next year, I'm going to let everybody ride mine. Did Greg say, everybody, let the line begin? It's getting hot, we know the track's going away just a little bit, but Mike Motto would go home with a big smile on his face. He could find the seven second zone here. Good short numbers, good leave. It all depends if he spins the tire down track. He's spinning just a little bit. Top end of the racetrack, 816. Look at the mile an hour. Fast run for him. That is the fastest street bike on the property, no doubt. So we made a couple runs today on motor and then started spraying it a little bit down down track to uh see if we can start making some speed with it but we just noticed the back tire is getting pretty low and of course with the spray shortage you know we've seen some tire slippage out there too so that last two runs that went 169 we've seen about 15 mile an hour wheel spin you know over 169 so um but we're real happy it went down track every hit made five shots straight down the track no issues everything's consistent mike's riding the bike good he's comfortable and then after today, since the first time out, um, we got a whole laundry list of stuff that we can work on now because you don't know until you get there. So Very impressive. The fact that yeah. you went 762 and are so far ahead of everybody else, what is the key to achieving that type of performance with a Harley-Davidson street tire, no wheelie bar? Um, I think we approached it because I'm the guy that builds it. We just approached it with the idea that we weren't afraid of hurting anything. You know, if I blow it up, it's mine. You know, so that's kind of how we did it. So we did do some sketchy stuff and got away with it. And of course, that video you made, the last pass, we burnt through the top of it. But I got to say that 764, that blow up pass 764 was on track to be like a 54. But uh, we didn't do it, so we didn't do it. But um, that weekend and the weekend before here at Keystone, we made 10 760 runs in a row. The last 10 runs that bike made two years ago were all in the 760s. So, you know, um, there's been some other guys getting the sevens out there and they're doing good, but um, making it happen over and over again is, is, how you, is how you go faster. You make one big run and you change a bunch of stuff and you can't get back. You know, when you make four or five good runs in a row, then you know if you change something, you know where you're going. Consistency is how you tune. So that's the way we did it. Um, 
you know, we tore up a bunch of parts. I ain't gonna lie to you, everybody does. You know, but Drag racing is not an inexpensive sport yeah. at this level, unfortunately. Yeah, we haven't been able to run a lot the last two years because of parts availability. I can't buy pistons and stuff. Other things are getting hard to get. And there's been a bunch of performance shops go out of business around the country and it's made us busier. And there's more dyno work coming in right now. And, and um, it's just racing's hard for us to get to right now. So we're just kind of laying back and building some stuff and hoping, you know, if things lighten up after this election that we can get out next year and have some parts and have some fuel and go racing. So. Beautiful motorcycle. Last question for you here. If somebody out in YouTube land is watching this and thinks this is cool, what does it take financially to build one of these from GMS? Well, uh, you know, most of the bikes that we get have been built already and then we refit them. So that's all up in the air. You don't know what you're getting into sometimes. But we kind of think that if you were going to start with a scratch built bike which was our chassis and buy everything brand new and our engines and everything i mean it's not hard to spend a hundred thousand you know it's not hard at all sure so as the old uh, adage goes speed is money right it's expensive and it's expensive because it's all handmade stuff yeah. you know ask anybody that does this it's all handmade stuff you know and there's i mean you can go pretty fast with a lot less but not as many times so. Uh, on that. Well, how about it, guys? If you got about 100 grand, call GMS. If they can get the parts, they'll get you out here, too. All right, guys, getting ready for the final, and you can learn some things from the track champion. You got to cool it last round because you didn't have to run it, but we got a little trick going on here, don't we, huh? got to keep that clutch cool. Okay, so what's the deal? You cable tie the clutch open and... Take the oil plug out. Let some air get in there. You know who cool told down. me that? George Bryce told me that. Yep. You're a smart man. How about that? Yep. He's keeping his clutch cool, guys. It's very important to have a cool, consistent clutch to run consistent laps times, isn't it? Absolutely. How you feel about your chances here in the final? This guy in the 14 has been tough. He's been tough all day, man. Anybody can win the race. You know, I lost to Gary first round. He put a whooping on me, but he woke me up. So I feel good. It's always good when you make it to the final. So good luck to my competitor here, and we'll see what happens. Good luck. It'll be Suzuki versus Kawasaki. And we got to give a big shout out to the man on the Kawasaki on kill today. Doing a wonderful job. Well, there was what a thousand fifty. Okay, whatever, however, however bikes it was in, it's a hundred percent payback, and I'm gonna throw two hundred out of my pocket. So what is that all together? That gave us a thousand fifty. Okay. We kicked a hundred bucks back to the semis. Okay. And we're gonna run for five fifty to the winner, four hundred to the runner up. Great. All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Do we have anybody over here rooting for Joey? Yeah. Yes, we do. Is that Dad? <laughs> Good luck to dad. Final round, ladies and gentlemen. Gaddafi Entertainment Bike Fest here at Keystone Raceway Park. We got ourselves a race. Only 2,000 separates these guys on the tree. Joey on the Jixer 750. You don't see too many of those trying to hold off. The 14, here comes the 14, top end 14. Davola was 018 and doesn't win it. The multi-time track champion upset that just goes to show you guys anything can happen out here. Two great racers, two stellar lights. The ZX14 comes out on top, and I got a feeling this family's about to get a little emotional. Bobby Nismick, we got his bro one proud brother, huh? How about yeah, that? I'm How about that? Taking out the multi-time track champion, running unbelievably consistent today. Yeah, that's it. Dustin Lee in the Gen 2 clutches. Oh, he's got the Dustin Lee tune. Uh-oh. Look out. Hard times tune. Appreciate it. There you go. Big congratulations. We'll see you in the winner's circle. Kawasaki wins the day. He's going home with some money, but I think this means more than money. Well, there's nothing better than being in victory lane, especially when you got your dad and your brother alongside you. Congratulations, hard fought win. That was a close final. Tell me about it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I mean, we both cut good lights, 016, 018. Um, he broke out by two hundredths. We were nose to nose at the finish line. So I really didn't know who won. To have your family here with you, you said you've been coming here since you're a little boy. What's it mean? Yeah. You got dad, brother. What's this mean to you? fantastic can't beat it watched them grow up and here they are now 
champions to me. And if it wasn't for the big brother finding the groove, he wouldn't have had his shot. That's right. <laughs> big brother taking a little credit, but dad, I think you're responsible for this one too, huh? Well, a little bit. Awesome. A little bit. Big congratulations. Savor Thanks. this victory. Congratulations, guys. Let them know about it. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for watching from Keystone Raceway Park. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle if there's anything fast motorcycles, especially from the Keystone State. Cycle drag is in. Remember, I want to know which motorcycle you would pick in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.